Henrik Lundqvist retired. The King has retired for 15 NHL seasons. Um, tried to come back a little bit after a pretty serious heart issue and, and open heart surgery, but uh, he announced in Sweden that he is retiring. What a career. Man, he, he had a great run, didn't he? He was he was at the top of the world there for a little while. I think there was there was probably a moment there, Gord, where you might have said, you know, Henrik Lundqvist was, you know, in the handful of goalies you'd pick to to win a game in any given moment. And, I mean not not many guys have had as sustained a run as this guy in this generation of players. So an Olympic gold medalist, um, a world champion, uh, a Stanley Cup finalist, a Vesna trophy winner as the NHL's top goaltender. Um it's interesting that um, there were a lot of people who wondered, you know, when the Rangers sent out that letter saying that they were going to rebuild their team, uh -huh. why Lundqvist wouldn't have asked out and, and why he yeah. wouldn't have wanted to go to a contender. And the fact of the matter is that as far as a Swede is concerned, Henrik Lundqvist has won the ultimate prize. He's won the gold medal in hockey. Yeah. You think that's the ultimate prize for him still? I think I think there's something missing there. You don't uh, win a cup. It, it, I mean. might, it might be missing, but but the fact is, as far as his fellow countrymen are concerned, he is described as Olympic gold medalist Henrik Lundqvist. He will be remembered. Yeah. When they show pictures of Henrik Lundqvist, they don't show him in a New York Ranger uniform. They show him in the Swedish three crowns. Um, yeah. So I, I think it, it, we've talked about it before. It's an interesting juxtaposition. Look, Henrik Lundqvist wanted to win the Stanley Cup. There's no question, of and 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 fought hard for it. But the fact that he won an Olympic gold medal, that that cements his legacy as the greatest Swedish goalie of all time. And yeah, uh, the the really interesting part of it is with Lundqvist, is that he's got a twin brother, Joel. Mm -hmm. And in the 2000 NHL draft, the Dallas Stars, whose scouting department was headed by our own Craig Button, loved Joel Lundqvist. And right, he's, and he's a terrific person, great character. They loved him. And they went over to Stockholm to interview him. And Joel said, can I bring my brother? And they said, oh, sure. So we came and, and um, they talked to him. And sure enough, they drafted him in the third round of the draft. They drafted Joel. And in the fourth round, Bob Ganey, the GM of the Stars, said, why don't we, uh, why don't we take uh, the twin brother? And they were like, no, we got some other guys we, we like better. And now the fifth, sixth round, the like, guys, like, we're drafting high school players. Like, why, why don't we... Look at the twin brother. No, there's some other guys we like. So in the seventh round, they finally said, okay, we'll take him. But the Rangers grabbed him right before their pick. Right. But Henrik Lundqvist Man. was not on the radar, really, you know, in terms of the national junior team, the national team. He was not regarded at the time as even the best goalie in Sweden. Yeah. Well, how many times? We've seen a lot of late bloomers in that position, right? Like Tim yeah. Thomas is probably the, the ultimate example of a guy who well, rose to, to win a cup. But Ed Belfort. Yeah. Ed El Belfort was a pretty late bloomer. You're right. Undrafted. Yeah, Ed Belfort wasn't drafted. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's a position where if you keep developing, you know, we've seen guys, you know, peak later than the, than the skaters peak. And, and man, it's, uh, you know, what a career, though. I mean, I, I think Lundquist, when you talk about why didn't he ask out, to me, he just he seems like a New York guy. Like he yeah. he is he is the epitome of a New York athlete. Like he's beloved in that city. He's got the Manhattan style. He's got the got the swagger of a New Yorker. And I, that's I mean I'm guessing that that's probably a big part of why he didn't ask out because he's just he just loves New York. He, his nickname was the King, and, and I I think at times it was more than a nickname. <laughs> it it might have been yeah. a little more than that. He um. He, he was a guy who lived in Manhattan when a lot of the players lived out in the suburbs because that's where their practice yeah. rink is. But, no, he was a Manhattan guy all the way along, pals with John McEnroe, you name it. He was uh, and, and just a, a, terrific, a terrific person to deal with, and still is, obviously. But if you get a chance, go online and check out his Head & Shoulders shampoo commercial with his twin brother, Joel. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Is and, it? Yeah, th because Joel takes his spot, and, and he says, maybe they're looking for a younger face, and Henrik said, you're 40 minutes younger than me. Like, come on. Uh, <laughs> That's a good line. Uh, you know, they want a new face. Because new face, we have the same face. Um, and, and Joel did make the good point that when Henrik Lundqvist was named one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People, he is his identical twin brother. Yes. So Very good point. So there, there, is, that, there is that to be said.